you know, I promised to lay out for you what's going on with pharmaceuticals in the United States. You know, we look at this EpiPen thing, for example, where, where uh, uh, Joe Manchin's daughter, I think her name is Heather, Heather Brush, is uh, running this company that makes EpiPens. And, you know, this is a generic product. I mean, it was invented in the 1800s, epinephrine. And the delivery mechanism that is unique to the EpiPen that allows you to just, you know, press it against your thigh and push a button and a little needle comes out and goes into your muscle and, or into your, under your skin and shoots the, the, uh, the, the drug into you, that was developed by NASA. We paid for that. You and I paid for that. So how is it that she gets away with charging, you know, six, eight hundred bucks, whatever it is, for a couple of EpiPens? Then, and now, you know, out of the goodness of their hearts, they've come out with a generic version that's only two or three hundred dollars. It's ten cents worth of medication in a delivery system that's probably made in China for for fifty cents. How did they get away with that? This is a drug that there's no longer a patent on. It's not a patent law. How is it that they're doing this? And here's another example of this. This is from today's Financial Times. The headline, U.S. drug maker charges 200 times U.K. price for common worm pill. And there's this thing called pinworms. 40 million people in America right now have pinworms. They, they, you know, they really don't cause any bad side effects. If you get a really, really wild infection, they, you know, they, they, they can be uh, troubling. And, uh, you know, if you have an immune disorder or something like AIDS, it can be very problematic. But for most people, I mean, this is just kind of a normal part of childhood. Um, in fact, I remember when I was seven or eight years old that, I, you know, I had pinworms and everybody in my family had to take this drug. And this drug, it's called, uh, what's it called? Anyway, uh, the, 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 oh, mabendazole, okay? So this drug it sells over the counter in, in the UK. You don't even need a prescription. For uh, a, a pound 75 pence, roughly $2.50 is what it sells for in the UK. And that's for a pack of four pills. Here in the United States, two pills, which is the course of treatment, you take two pills. Two pills is $884. Now, how do they do that? This, again, is a common drug that you can buy in the UK for a buck and a half. In the United States, it's $800. How do they get away with this? It's illegal to import drugs. This has nothing to do with the patent laws. For, a lot, for the longest time, I was trying to figure this out. You know, we need to change our patent laws. So, and, you know, but this stuff is not a patent. It's, this, is, this is a generic drug that they're charging $884 for. And by the way, for people with, you know, who are immune compromised, you know, pinworms can actually kill you. For most people, it's just, you know, it's itchy butt disease and that's it. Impax, by the way, is IMPAX. This is the company that just jacked the price up on this. Uh, they're notorious for having sold Daraprim, a life-saving drug for AIDS and cancer sufferers, to a company controlled by Martin Shrelly, the disgraced pharma entrepreneur. So it's like all these companies, what they basically, they're carving up the market. Anybody could be making EpiPens. But, you know, Heather's company says, you know, we got this. Any company could be making this anti-pinworm medication and selling it for two bucks a piece. But they say, oh no, we'll let that company do that. It's like, it's, this is, it's not monopoly, but it's damn close. It's oligopoly. It's nothing like what you would call a marketplace. We'll be back with your calls anyways.